All right, everybody. So we're in TerraSet now. So if if you haven't managed to find TerraSet in the MySeason software portal, um, that's those instructions are just going to be in a different video. Just a reminder. All right. So when you get into TerraSet, uh, this is the landing page that you end up with, and these uh, collection of nice images here um, are sort of some short, uh, sorry shortcuts to some custom designed workflows that you can use like land change modeler, habitat and biodiversity modeling, ecosystem services modeling, a lot of different really cool uh, workflows that are built into this program that are not in some of the other GIS programs that are out there. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you do to really uh, get started in uh, TerraSet is to set up your project workspace. All right, and we do this by, you can either expand this plus sign over here on TerraSet Explorer, or we've got an icon here. Oh, sorry, so this icon, the first one for TerraSet Explorer. And that's, you click that and it opens up this side pane here. And the, you should notice that on our homepage, there is a section here that says start here, and it's got a whole set of instructions and a little bit of tutorial information of how to get started working with your files and working with your workspace, right? So that's great. Uh, that's a really good resource uh, to look at. Also, the tutorial that I've posted, not the tutorial, but um, there are, there's a tutorial and there's a, a manual uh, that I've posted as well. That's got a full set of documentation. If anything is confusing, the ultimate authority on some answers is in those documents too. But here, I'm gonna show you in this video, uh, some shortcuts here just so you can see it in action. All right, so in our Explorer, um, if you've ever worked with ArcMap, you know that the first thing that you do in ArcMap is you've got to set up your workspace. And um, you, you usually, if you're coming at this from a little bit of ArcMap or ArcGIS experience on the desktop software of Arc, uh, ArcMap, um, you got to connect to folder, right? There's that whole thing that everybody has to do. And we do a similar thing here. Um, it do, it works a little bit differently, but it's kind of really the same idea is that you've got to tell the software where to look for your files and where to store the files that you create, right? So that's really the first step in, um, uh, in starting up the software. When you start up TerraSet Explorer uh, or when you open the Explorer tab, that is their equivalent of Arc Catalog. So if you've used ArcMap, you know that Arc Catalog is that file management window and TerraSet, it's TerraSet Explorer. And TerraSet Explorer has three tabs. You've got projects, files, and filters. Projects and files are gonna be the main ones that you use. And the default startup is, it's gonna start up on the files tab. And you see that a folder is already open here. I've got a folder path here. It's got C drive slash users slash public, et cetera. And it opens up into this TerraSet tutorial using TerraSet folder with a bunch of files listed in it. All right, so the first thing is that that C drive, that lives on the virtual computer in on CSUN's campus. That's not actually your real computer that's sitting on your desk right now. Uh, so that's one thing that when you use the My CSUN software, it kind of is this virtual computer that you're accessing. And when you save things, um, it's, it's saving them to your, I don't know, at, Another professor calls it the basement of the library. <laughs> um, so that's one thing to just kind of understand about it. So we have a lot of files here. Um, we've got a, a few different um, file formats here or a couple that are different than uh, the Esri system. So uh, whereas in ArcMap or in the Esri system, there's a shape file, right? We call it the shape file. That's a proprietary type of file made by Esri and it's always dot shp and um, this software tear set can work with that you can import shape files into it but if you're work but the way that it works with data on a day-to-day -day basis the regular way that it uses data is it converts it to just their vector format so a shape file is a vector data type and you'll see here that the first file highlighted is dot vct that just means vector all right if we look down here at this uh, one that I've just highlighted, that's a .rst, that's a raster file. So that's the basic setup. It's pretty simple to just differentiate between vector and raster because of the .vct and .rst. 
The other thing, we've got metadata folder down here. This is, I like the metadata that it shows in Terraset much better than the one that's in ArcMap because getting this data in ArcMap is a little bit more complicated. You've got to right click on the file, open up properties, go to the right tab. Uh, whereas in Terraset, it's all right here um, at the beginning. You just highlight a, um, a file name and it shows you the metadata right here. Perfect. Okay, to get started, working with this data, we always have to check our projects. And the project is the name for the Terraset workspace. So I'm gonna click on this tab here and you'll see that I've got a project open. And again, it says the C drive program files. So again, just a reminder, that C drive, that's not really on my computer or on your computer. Once you open it, that's on your virtual computer that lives in the CSUN campus cloud. <clears throat> And I've got the default project here. So it always starts with the default project. That's your default workspace. So those files that we saw on this tab are always the files that are associated with your project. <clears throat> so how we set up work, we can, you can set up multiple workspaces with Terraset. And um, it is kind of nice because you can organize your, you can organize your work or you can organize your projects a, a little bit more carefully. It's kind of like setting up a, just a kind of a folder structure uh, to keep everything organized in a way that's gonna help you the best. So um, you'll see that this is default and please look down here under editor, we've got something called a working folder and we have another file network path here. So the working folder, that means where you are going to save your data to. So that's really important because when we do some work in this class, we're going to be accessing a shared network drive with some data on it. And that's called our the H drive. And that's located at CSUN, the H drive that has some of our homework files and our assignment files on it. And we're going to be accessing data from there. But the thing is, is that you won't be able to save data to there because that's our, our that's kind of the shared folder for everybody to, to just access the data. And you wanna save the data in your own computer right, or on your own workspace. Um, and so we've got to fix that. So this is one of our first things we do. <clears throat> so one, the next thing to do uh, just to try out creating a project is right click here. You're gonna right click just anywhere under the project window and you see my mouse right here, I'm gonna right click. And if you're working on a Mac, you can either do two fingers uh, on the trackpad, or I believe you can hold, uh, I think it's command um, or it's option click, right? You can do option click if you're working at this on a Mac. And that does the same as right click. And you're going to select new project. All right, we've got a new project here. It's going to say browse for folder. All right, select a working folder for your new project. We need to access our, um, uh, our uh, where we're going to look at um, for our data. So if you click on your name here, so this, it should look the same for you, except it'll have your name, open that up, scroll down and all right. So we don't see the H drive. So sometimes with our virtual software library through CSUN and just how Terraset works, um, we have to, um, open up a few different things. And so you'll see now Citrix is asking for access. Um, for the application and we say read and write so that we can actually save our data. All right, so we're gonna look here, we're gonna open up and really you're gonna click, you're gonna try to drop down these, sorry, don't click on local disk H. What you wanna find is geog share H. So browse down, so here we are, we're down here. Um, you're gonna, you, you might have to toggle between different settings here and you're eventually going to be looking for geog share h so you'll see there's local disk h don't go to that one because that's my actual computer i'm not looking for my actual real computer on that's sitting on my desk right now i'm trying to find the share drive geog share h i'm going to click that expand that you'll see some other folders here these are for other classes or other instructors in our department and you're going to click on drake here and expand that we're going to drag um, go this down again. And I've put some folders here and this is going to change over the semester, but let's just go ahead and highlight that introductory IP folder. So open up Terraset 2020 tutorial. You're going to go and you'll see an introductory IP. Make sure that that is selected and then go down and click OK. All right. Now we've got in our projects tab, we now have a new, in addition to their default project, we have an introductory IP project. IP means image processing. All right. 
So look down here in our uh, below, and we've got new name is introductory IP. That's the name of the project. And you'll see that the working folder is that H drive colon slash Drake Terraset 2020, and it continues on. And you can actually click this and see the rest of it. So that's great so far. However, in order for you to work with this, you have to set up um, a working folder that you can actually save your data to. So what you, one of the things that Terraset, uh, how it works is you set up two folders for a project. One is gonna be your working folder and one is going to be your resource folder. The working folder is your own personal workspace that you can save your files to. And the working folder is the is where you access your data that everybody's gonna access their data. So we have to do a little switch here. We're gonna to have to put that H drive, that shared folder, uh, geog share, we're gonna put that into a resource folder and we're gonna set our own working folder. So we gotta go down here to the bottom of the tab, bottom of that window and you'll see new folder. All right, so click on that little icon there and then we go back up and we see resource folder. So we just need to put that H drive, that whole path here into the resource folder. So what you do is you click here and re in the working folder, make sure that whole thing is highlighted. Oops, I'm gonna cancel that. Um, make, you can double click, you know, if a window pops open, that's fine, just click cancel. But you wanna make sure that whole thing is highlighted and you copy, all right, so copy, you can do control C or command C on a Mac. And then you click down here in resource folder and you do, and you paste, which is a control V on a Windows or command V on a Mac. All right. And so now we, but now you see it's both, both the resource folder and the working folder are the same. So we need to go in and set a working folder, which is your workspace. Okay. So here in this case, what you can do is you go in and you set up your own folder. And I've already done that here. So I'm going to try to show that to you. So what you will do is click on your name here. So you've got a name. Uh, up here, you know, that'll be your name. And then you'll see a button here that says make new folder. So click on that folder and you can, uh, what I recommend is typing something really clearly specific to you. So what I did is I put Luke's critical GIS files and I put that. So I'm going to click okay. And now you see it says C drive users, L Drake, Luke's critical GIS files. So again, this doesn't really live on my actual computer. This lives in my virtual workspace. Uh, through the Citrix system. So I believe that you can actually access this through any computer. Like if you happen to log out of this computer you're working on, use a different computer, you should still be able to access that folder. So what we've got now, we've set up our workspace, right? All right, this took a long time in this video just because it was the first time, but once you do this once or twice, it becomes really easy. Uh, but it is the critical, really important thing that we do uh, when we work with Terraset. So once we have that project, um, set up with our resource folder, which is that shared drive, the working folder, which is your own workspace. Then you go back over to your files tab and you'll see that, that our files tab uh, has now changed. And that's because we're our new project, our introductory IP project is selected and that changes what we see on the files. And you'll see, well, we don't, I don't see any files. And that's because I've got two, I've got two folders here set up and, um, if you just double click on some of those paths, then you'll see the files that are there. So I can double click here. I can double click on mine. I got a few files in here because I just um, put a couple of my own in um, before this video. But these are some of the, uh, the so under the H drive, that's all of the files that you can access, that everybody in the class will access uh, through uh, their assignments. So there you go. That is how we set up our workspace. Great. Now we can get started with all of the fun stuff.